Uh, Pope Francis is reaching out to the faithful, requesting prayers for the victims of the Turkey-Syria earthquake. The Vatican sent telegrams to the papal ambassadors with the Pope's deepest condolences to all those who are suffering. A Catholic priest is among those who was killed in the earthquakes. Father Imad Dahar, a school chaplain in the Melkite Greek Catholic Church, was found underneath the rubble. Father Imad was visiting the home of former Archbishop of Aleppo when the quakes hit. And joining us tonight from Iraq with the latest on the earthquakes is Roddy Schur, editor-in-chief of Asi Mina, the Association for Catholic Information in the Middle East and North Africa. Roddy, thank you so much for coming on tonight. We really appreciate it. And we know this is still a developing situation. Um, what is the latest and what can you share with us? Well, good day to you, everyone. Uh, indeed, it's a hard and tough day for the people in the region here. Um, only today, 4 a.m., uh, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake has hit the region, uh, especially uh, um, um, affecting Turkey and Syria and uh, other uh, 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 countries in, in the region. Um, so this has caused severe damage to the building. Um, um, only in Turkey and Syria, over 2,000 buildings uh, were damaged, according to the local and national uh, news agencies. Um, uh, we are also receiving, uh, you know, updated information about the number of people who were killed in, in this uh, earthquake. Uh, it's uh, in that uh, such a hard day for the people in, in the region. Yeah, and Roddy, I know that you're only about two hours um, from the border with Turkey, and I understand that mm -hmm. your apartment, you're on the ninth floor there, it was shaking. Uh, I'm curious, you know, how are you doing and what went through your mind at the time? Well, it was easier for us in Iraq and Lebanon, at least. Uh, we felt it. I personally felt uh, the earthquake. It was uh, such a hard time. Uh, but our minds and prayers are for the people who are suffering very hard in Syria. Uh, our um, our uh, uh, reporter in Syria, Madonna Iwas, uh, she lived in an apartment and she was um, her building was really affected by the earthquake. Um, and, and now we are getting reports that the, the, the people, especially the Christians, are desperate. Uh, many of them left their houses, uh, but uh, hopefully the churches are opening their doors to receive more and more people. And they're advising them not to go back uh, as the uh, aftershocks are anticipated to happen tonight as well. Yeah, it's really a tragic situation. Um, what else is she telling you uh, about the situation there? Any updates, uh, updates that is from her? Well, as, as you know, so the living in Syria now is very, very hard for the people. Um, um, peop the, the weather is very cold. Uh, unfortunately, people are outside the rain and uh, uh, it's snowing in some areas as well. Um, so it's really, really tough uh, time for them. And also uh, speaking out loud about the, the, the Catholic priests who um, uh, were found killed under the rubble. Uh, this was a very shocking news for all the Christians, especially uh, for the people who knew him and knew how um, how how easy and how comfortable it was and um, how uh, you know it's a very shocking news for everyone who know who knew this priest in, in particular. Uh, he was very kind with all the people, not only Christians, but also the Muslims are uh, very sad for for his death. Yeah, it's very very sad. Ronnie, what can you tell mm -hmm. us about him? Uh, what more information do you have on Father? Well, uh, the father, uh, uh, the, the search was uh, continued looking for, for him under the rubble. Uh, the search uh, continued for eight hours, more than eight hours. after Afterwards, the, the government announced and the, 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 the church authority has announced that they found him uh, dead. Um, he was uh, very kind. He's uh, originally from Lebanon. He's a Maronite, but he decided to go to Syria and be priest to serve the Church of God there. And um, unfortunately, the father also uh, got hit by um, previously in one of the uh, accidents, and um, and the, he, he was uh, injured back in that time. He lost one of his eyes. Again, today, unfortunately, he, he lost his life. That's very, very sad. And unfortunately, the death toll seems like it's rising. We're going to continue following the story. We know you will as well. Roddy, we thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pray for us.